What is up guys, Poncho Cortez, and today I'm gonna to be featuring a tutorial with you on the silver screen hair part. It's basically just, you know, the old school hairstyles that people like Ramon Novaro, Valentino, and Gary Cooper sported back in the 20s, 30s, and early part of the 40s. And it's different from the hair part that we see today, or side part that we see today, because the line placement is much more different, as well as the volume of how the hair is supposed to be. What's important to keep in mind about this tutorial is the kind of combs and the hair that you have. Now the haircut that you want is something not too much of a fade. You can get a fade if you want, but personally me, I like to still have a little bit of hair. And what I do or ask for is to get a three all around. I'll get a three all around and blend it with the top with only a couple inches left. The reason why is because it looks much cleaner and you still have hair to use um, to your advantage. The combs that you want to be using are a white tooth comb and a fine tooth comb. I'll explain to you why. Now with the white tooth comb, you're going to want to slick your hair back. I did it earlier, but I'm going to do it again because it's important to get the line placement. And now it is time to create the part. This is the easiest hairstyle to do and the reason why is because I get a lot of people that message me saying that they still get splits and whatnot. So if you get major splits in your hair, this is the perfect hairstyle for you. Now, you're going to want the line placement is very important. You're going to want to do it kind of towards the side, but not directly in the middle because you're going to get a lot of shit. If you put it directly in the middle, people will call you alfalfa and you'll just look really dumb. I will prefer doing it on the left side, so here we go. As you guys can see, it is close to the middle, but not directly on it. So when you're parting it, part it towards the side that has the most hair. For me, that is going to be my right side. The right side has the most hair. And I'm just going to keep parting it like that. Once you do that, you'll see the line. And you're going to start doing it with your left side. As you can see, the part is being created. But it's too short, so I'm going to keep doing it. Now, you don't want your part to be too short because, once again, it's going to look really silly. And it's better to have a long part because people could admire how clean your hair will actually look. So first you're just going to flatten the sides. That's it. You're just going to flatten the sides. And just so you can see the part. If you get any trouble back here, just kind of flatten it down with your sides so it blends together. Now right here, this isn't the finished product, but this is how your hair should be looking. The next part is you're going to get your hair into a V formation to actually give it the look. Now, from the sides, it's supposed to look slick, but once you look right in the middle, you can definitely see the part. So I'll show you guys how to do it. So it's important to always blend the sides. As I mentioned though, you want your sides blended because this is gonna be short, but on top, it's gonna have the hair. So as you can see, it's starting to create the slick look. You're gonna wanna do that with the other side now. This has the longest amount of hair, and it's gonna be a little bit tougher to work with, but bear in mind, it's gonna look, it's gonna be all worth it in the end. So, just kinda comb, make sure your hand is there to kinda guide it and just to flatten it because you want your hair to maintain a flatness. Right there, as you can see, it's kinda slicking. And when you're working with the back, just kinda comb it a bit like this. Like I said, so it all blends together and it looks very uniform. Then get your hand just kind of put and pat your hair down. As you can see, it should be looking a lot like this. And that's basically how you do the silver screen side part. I also recommend that you guys use an oil based pomade to give it a good sheen and also to give it a good grip as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Been around you, Charlie. Mom, I only need five more minutes. Wait. I'll piss myself. Can I just have five more minutes, please? Okay. Five minutes, that's it, I promise. All right, I just got intel from HQ. ETA, five minutes to bedtime, boys. Let's wrap it up. <laughs>